Well, monkey, it's so good to see you again. What are we doing this week? Oh, boys and girls, hello. Monkey and I want to say hello to you this morning. Monkey's been putting his finger in my container of wheat grain. Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh. Today, the story is about Joseph saving the grain. He had a plan and God showed him how, what to do to look after people. Jump up, enjoy the songs and make sure you get mum or dad to print off the picture. When you get the picture, if mum's got some grain, you can stick the grain onto the picture. Now, what was that monkey? Oh, monkey wanted to remind you that God's got a plan for you and God's got a plan for me. Have a great time. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he do. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. No, that's what I know. That's what I know. No, that's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. I know that I can trust him. Yeah. No matter what the season. Yeah. His plans are for a reason. Yeah. I know they are good. I know they are best. The reason I love is because he said he's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me That's what I know, oh, that's what I know That's what I know, oh, that's what I know And when I'm feeling so sad Hey, when I am afraid God will never leave me No, 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 cause love will never change I know they are good, I know they are bad Awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. Now, boys and girls, we're going to pray together, and Monkey's going to help me think about the plans that God has. And to say thank you to God for our mums and our dads and our friends and to say a big, big thank you for Jesus. So you can say the prayer after me. Dear God, thank you for having a plan for me. Thank you for having a plan for my family. Thank you that you love us. And thank you for sending Jesus. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for praying with me, boys and girls. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have. It's me, Kai. I'm so glad you're all here today. I was getting ready for the 
big ice cream sundae party at the clubhouse. These pictures are a step-by-step -step plan on how to make the most fantastic, most spectacular, most yummiest to the tummiest ice cream sundae ever. Step one, you get a bowl, a spoon, and a napkin, then you're ready to make an ice cream sundae. Step two, add ice cream to the bowl. It can be any kind of ice cream you want. Step three, add the toppings. Ice cream sundaes need lots of toppings. Step four, in what's the last thing we do with our ice cream sundae? We eat it, what a great plan. Who, who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Ho, ho, what are you up to? Hi, Ollie. Well, I just finished putting together my plan to make the perfect ice cream sundae. Yes, that is an excellent plan. It's true. I have a story about another great plan for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. I'm Casey, and I'm helping out at the Cupcake Food Truck. Do you want to see my latest, most delicious creation? Ta-da! These are my Sweet Dreams Cupcakes, because in today's story, we're going to talk about someone who had some pretty amazing dreams. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three! Tell me a story! Woo! This is Joseph. He was put in jail, even though he had done nothing wrong. Being in jail was hard for Joseph, but God had a different plan. One day, the king of all of Egypt, the pharaoh, had some dreams he didn't understand. They were about seven cows. Cows? What do cows say? Moo! You're right. <laughs> Dreaming about cows is funny. Wait, ooh, let's count the cows in Pharaoh's dream. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven! Great job! Seven cows. The pharaoh also dreamed about stalks of grain. Grain? We make bread out of grain. Let's pretend to have a snack. <gasps> Yum. Mm, Yum! Pharaoh wanted to know what his dreams meant. And drum roll, please. He asked Joseph to help him. Hooray! Joseph was brought out of jail straight to the Pharaoh. He told Pharaoh that the dreams were from God, that Pharaoh needed to save lots and lots of grain because his people were going to be hungry and need it later. Pharaoh was so happy to know what his dreams meant that he gave Joseph a very special job. He put Joseph in charge of all of Egypt. Years later, the dreams came true. People were hungry and didn't have food, so they traveled from all over to get grain from Joseph. Wow! God's plan was for Joseph to help all these people. God has a plan for us too. And God's plan is the best plan. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! <laughs> hey Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. Joseph followed God's plan, and we should too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow.
Wow, I loved that story. Joseph followed God's plan and helped so many people. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I'm excited about following this plan. It's going to be delicious. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Wasn't that a fantastic story about how God had a plan for Joseph? There's more to learn about Joseph next week. So this week, boys and girls, have a fantastic time. Remember that God has a plan for you and God has a plan for me. Let's say that together. Are you ready? God has a plan for you and God has a plan for me. One more time. God has a plan for you and God has a plan for me. God bless you and we'll see you next week.